Praise the Lord. Tuning in to share a word of the Lord out of Psalms 113 verse 7. Praise the Lord. So listen to this powerful word of the Lord. If you find yourself in a desolate place, uh, in the ashes, in the dust, in the garbage pile, you know, you may feel like that sometimes. We may feel that way sometimes. It may seem that way. It may be, the reality may be that we do go through hard times. But you, you know, the word of the Lord is a solid foundation and his truth is marching on. And you know, the kingdom, we take the kingdom by force. We have to, the Lord has already paid the price by sending his son Jesus to die for us. And my friends, when he died, he paid it all. All the benefits of the salvation, of our salvation, all of its fringe benefits that come with this package. He paid a dear price. He gave his own life. Praise the Lord so that we could have life and have life more abundantly. So listen to this powerful word. It says he raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy. Hallelujah. From the ash heap that he may seat them with princes, with the princes of his people. Praise the Lord to rule, to rule to govern. Praise the Lord. And we need his wisdom. Praise the Lord to do this. Praise the Lord. So this is a powerful word of the Lord. I pray that you hear it. And you know, of all the things that you have been through, that you are going through, the Lord has not forgotten you. He has not cast you off. You know, if you look to him, just hold on to him. Hold on to him. Be encouraged. He'll never let you go. And you know, um, a new day, a new day has arrived. A new day has arrived. We are living in a different era, a different time. And the Lord's going to perfect that which concerns you. I'm just looking here at my notes that wasn't in my notes, but that came to me by the Spirit of the Lord because He really wants you to know. He's lifting someone out of that garbage pile, out of that ash heap right now. The Lord is doing it by His Spirit. And see, we have to take hold of that. You say, well, I, you know, my circumstances haven't changed or, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it, but no, know, know it know it, receive it, receive this word by faith in the name of Jesus, that the Lord is the one. See, he's the one that elevates. He's the one. He brings one up and he brings down another. See, the Lord truly knows what's best for us at all times. That's why we're going to praise him and bless his name. Hallelujah, because he's worthy. He's worthy. He paid it all. He paid it all. He gave his life. He shed his blood. Hallelujah. Because he cares that much for us. He cares that much for you. You may be lonely, but let the Spirit of the Lord just lift you up and carry you. You know, sometimes we, you know, go around like in the chicken pen, you know, going around like a chicken in a pen, you know, scratching around like a chicken. You know, the Lord wants to elevate. He wants to lift you up. So trust him. Trust his word. This is a powerful word of the Lord. All his word is powerful. He holds all power. He is supreme. He's the ruler of all. Hallelujah. You know, praise the Lord. The word says nothing can defeat us. Nothing. Because why? Because we abide in him and he in us. Hallelujah. <laughs> I pray you experience his comfort, his peace in the name of Jesus and that you receive that just to take him at his word, just to trust in him, to lean into him and don't be afraid. Hallelujah. I pray this brings you peace. I pray this word will uh, encourage you and, and cause you to 
just continue to seek him. Continue to believe. He believes in you. Praise the Lord, and so do I. Amen.